Hi, I'm John from Accio, and today I'm going to show you how you can use the power of AI to solve for customer churn. Customer churn is one of the biggest issues in a subscription business because you go through all the effort of acquiring new customers every month only to see some of your existing base slip away. With AI, you can build a model very easily to predict which of your existing customers might churn and then take actions to prevent them from churning. So let's look how you can do that in about 10 minutes using Accio. We'll start with a data set of historical customer churn. In this case, we're working with a telco data set that has around 7,000 records, and it looks at a two-month window of history and categorizes each customer as having churned or not churned. We'll use this historical data set to train an AI model, which we can then deploy against new customers or existing customers to predict their likelihood to churn. All right, let's get started. If you visit akkio.com and just click sign up, you can create a free account to get started. Once you sign up, you'll be taken to the flow creation page, which looks just like this. A flow is an end-to-end -end AI model, which we will use to predict churn. Just click create new flow and then upload a table in CSV format. I've already uploaded that historical customer data set, so we'll just select it. Accio will automatically tell you some information about that data set, the title, the time it was uploaded, and the number of rows. We'll automatically detect what type of information is in each one of the columns to set it up for the machine learning algorithm. That could be a category, a number, a unique ID, a date, text, it doesn't matter. And if you scroll over to the right, you'll see the category of interest churn. Now that we've got the historical data loaded, the next step is to build our predictive model. Simply click Add Step and Predict. You can predict any one of the variables in your model, but of course we're interested in churn, so we'll just click Churn. Accio will build you a dedicated machine learning model, taking the other variables from your data and using them to predict churn. We take 80% of your data to build the model and hold back 20% of your data as a validation set. Okay, so now we have our results. Let's take a look. First, look at the prediction quality. This tells you how good your model is at predicting outcomes. We're able to accurately predict churn about 77.32% of the time, so that's pretty good. In the no category, we're quite good at predicting it, and in the yes, we're actually pretty good at predicting it. We were able to predict 133 out of the 280 customers that churned in the last two months of the validation set of your data. Looking down here, we'll show you sample prediction by sample prediction, how we did, so you can look at any given record. You can see what we predicted, in this case, know that they would not churn and that we were correct. And we'll also show you the ones we missed, here where we predicted they would not churn and they did. Perhaps the most interesting part of the predictive model is we show you which of the input variables were the biggest predictors of churn. In this case, it was the contract, and that makes sense because if a customer is on a contract, it's going to be hard for them to switch to an alternate service. Whether or not they use internet service, their tenure as a customer, so how long they've been a customer, and then interestingly, if they're a subscriber to online security. So now that we've built our model that's capable of pretty accurately picking out a lot of the customers that would churn, let's go ahead and deploy it against next month's data to figure out which of those customers are likely to churn so we could proactively stop them from doing so. Simply click Add Step, scroll down to Outputs. Today we offer a web app, but we'll have other methods of output soon. Click Web App. Go ahead and title your data model. There will be two types of input to this model. And you can sort of see the preview over here on the right. The first input will be manual where you can type in the information for any given record. But since that's not very efficient, we'll use the bulk upload of CSVs. So make sure allow bulk upload is turned on. And we'll also add show probability this will tell us the probability the model thinks that any customer will churn. So that's it. Just come over here and turn on the deployment, and you'll get a dedicated web page against which you can run predictions of whether or not any given customer is likely to churn. 
All right, great. So now let's see how we use this model to reduce churn in our business. I have a data set of existing customers. Let's take a look at that. I've titled this data set, Will They Churn? It has all the same record information that we had in the historic data set, but in this case, the category churn is blank. And that's the thing that we'll use the model to determine. Okay, great. So back to our deployed model, we'll just click Upload CSV. We'll select that data set, Will They Churn? and open it. You can see the status of the predictions up here at the top as they're run. And when it's complete, it'll populate a preview win here, window down here at the bottom, as well as allow you to download an output CSV of the predictions. And if you scroll over to the right, you'll see that now we've filled in that category churn for these existing customers. Let's download that CSV and take a little deeper look. Okay, so now we see that we've added a couple of columns to the right of the churn, which we filled in with our predictions of churn or not. That's the probability that churn is no and the probability that churn is yes. Let's go ahead and delete the no because we're interested in the yes. And then let's go ahead and filter this data set to only look at the customers that the model predicts will churn. And then let's rank them by probability to churn. So there you go. As you can see, out of those 2,000 records, the AI model has predicted that around 218 of them are likely to churn. And you can see that they're ranked in order of probability from most likely to churn to least likely to churn. Now, what could you do with that information? Well, you could stop them from churning. And how would you accomplish that? Remember the most important fields in your predictive model? Contract, internet service, online security, streaming movies. Well, you could look at any given customer record that is predicted as likely to churn and pick the next service that you could offer them, perhaps as a promotion, to get them to reduce their churn probability. In this way, you can use the power of an AI model to easily tell which customers are on the brink and stop them from churning out of your set, thereby substantially accelerating your business growth and scale.